You're such an asshole. Assholeconsulting.com. Today we have a clarity test request on two people, Jeff Bezos and Robert Mueller. Hello, Mr. Clary. Hope this reaches you well. I'd like a video request. Please keep me anonymous. The Clary test your four-question checklist to see if a person is likely to be trustworthy and, more importantly, whether if you'd like to have a beer with. Seems pretty straightforward and methodological. Or methodological. Methodo... How'd you spell it? Methodo... Docal. Methodical. Methodic... Methodical. Is that how you spell it? Please run your assessment against uh, Jeff Bezos and the founder of the founder and CEO of Amazon, and Robert Mueller, the erstwhile director of the FBI, and currently appointed special prosecutor. Additionally, any rule would be amiss if it didn't have an exception. Have you ever met someone whose your assessment turned to be wrong or found exception to your rules? Yeah, there's like like um, I don't think anyone ever did Trump. No one's ever paid me to do Trump, but yeah, I mean it, it's it's a rule. And there are always going to be exceptions. But Trump is a type of guy who inherited his money, uh, but then he ended up making more. You know, he wasn't your typical you know, blue blood fuck uh, that did that. Have I ever met anyone? <clears throat> no, because I don't meet a lot of these. These are celebrities and big time politicians. I haven't met them. But uh, for the most part, it, it's it's pretty predictive. It's uh, If you take out the fact that if... People were brought up rich because you can be brought up rich but have your parents still instilled within you humility humbleness a work ethic so there are a fair amount of people but outside of that no pretty much if you majored in stupid shit oh Mark Leominus Lominus uh, the prophet that guy that guy that's the one exception he was a spoiled little brat Parents paid for everything, majored some stupid fucking shit. But then he went on, so I, I think he had an epiphany, and he changed. But outside of him, no, I mean, if you major and left this crap, your parents paid for your fucking way through college, and then you never work in the real world, yeah, you're kind of a fuck. I'm, I'm not many anyone that's interesting, intelligent. Is it kind of skeezy you're trying to scam you? Or is it some fucking egomaniac that thinks that they fucking deserve the world? So <clears throat> it is a very, very good and reliable test, especially based on sociological standards. It's, it's got a very high correlation coefficient between its scores and the douchebaggery of people. All right, let's go ahead and do it. We're doing it live. Fuck it, we'll do it live. Jeff Bezos. I do not know why people hate him so much, but I've never looked into him, so this will be as interesting for me as you. Born 1964, retail entrepreneur, computer scientist, and philanthropist, chairman, executive, ba, 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 do, 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 Amazon, 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 billionaire, early life and education. <clears throat> Born to Jeff Jorgensen, 1964, and Jacqueline. Oh, he's down in Albuquerque. I wonder if him and, uh, he used to know, He, I bet you he drove past where the original Microsoft headquarters were. Settlers who lived in Texas and acquired a 20,000 anchor ranch near. As of March 2015, Bezos was among the largest landholders in Texas. He was a regional director of the U.S. Atomic Energy Commission in Albuquerque before joining. What about your dad? His grandfather <clears throat> was a big dude. Um. DARPA. So that was his relatives that were in the, if I recall, that's the original internet. Bezos' mother was 17 and still in high school at the time of his birth. Her marriage to Jorgensen lasted a little more than a year, 1968, when Jeff was four. She married her second husband, Miguel Mike Bezos, a Cuban who immigrated to the United States alone when he was 15 years old. His family was originally from. Okay, <clears throat> so did he change his name? Jeffrey Pan Jorgensen. So he did change his name to his mother's second husband. Interesting. <clears throat> Cuban immigrant. So then if the Bezos, wait. His maternal ancestors were settlers who lived in Texas over generations. As of my, oh, Bezos. He is one of the largest. Individually, Jeff Bezos is one of the largest shareholders. Okay. All right. So we're going through his mother's. All right. That confused me because I'm like, how did... How is he related if he's not? 
Um, 15 years old. So, doesn't say much about his dad. I'm going to assume he didn't come from, from money because if his mom was a teenage mom and then she ran off in 1968 to make her dad jealous with, a, with you know, an immigrant. Although this Cuban sounds like he might have actually kicked, it, kicked a little bit of ass. Originally from Spain, Basil's worked his way through the University of Mexico. Worked his way through, okay. <clears throat> so he he did not come through from money. Mike, ba God, oh fucking mighty, goddamn baby boomers with their fucking divorces and remarriages. Mike Bezos, his f stepdad worked his way through college, not Jeff Bezos. He adopted, so they didn't come from money. After the wedding, the family moved to Houston, Texas, and Mike worked as an engineer for Exxon. Okay, that sounds pretty fucking cool. Step that anyway. Jeff attended Oaks River Elementary in Houston in fourth to sixth grade. As a child, he spent summers working at his grandfather's ranch in southern Texas. So his, I guess they... <laughs> High school. One high school attended student training programs. with Silver Knight Award. He's high school valedictorian, national man in 1986. Vice Bachelor of Science degrees, electrical engineering, computer science. I'm just gonna say he didn't come from money. At least his earlier years. That was rough going. Maybe his, his stepdad did become an engineer. Maybe that brought in a little bit of money. But by that time, you're already set. So, Jeff Bezos, after the fuckery with all of his previous ancestors, did not come from money originally. Major in right subjects. Cool. So far, zero points. Does he have real-world working experience? Well, pretty much. He's been in private sector, I think, the entire world. Worked on building a network for an international trade company known as FIDL. He worked for Bankers Trust, Internet Hedge Fund Company, D. E. Shaw & Company. Founded Amazon 1994, rest is history. Okay. Uh, the guy's got a perfect score for the clarity test. Zero points. Was it a spoiled little rich kid? Majored in the right thing. Has real working experience. Was he doing now? He's still working. Uh, absolutely. Uh, Jeff Bezos, he gets himself the... You want a low score. Zero is the best score you can get. And that's what he's got. Um, would I want to have a, a coffee or coffee or beer with him? Hell yeah. Yeah, I, I, I would like to talk to him. I know you guys... I know he's like probably a leftist and he votes all the right ways and things because that's what you're supposed to do for marketing. But I would still like to pick this guy's brain and hear like, yeah, how'd you figure that out in 1994? Like, what the hell? All right, so there's that. Robert Mueller. <clears throat> Mueller. It's the German spelling. Robert Mueller. I'm just going to say right now his face looks like public sector douche. Robert Swan Mueller III. Oh, fuck. <laughs> There's some, man. There's some. Like, when you look at my face, you don't think, oh, blue blood from the Hamptons. You're like, ah, damn, no, poor white guy. Yeah. It's <laughs> American lawyer and civil servant who was the sixth director of the Federal Bureau of Investigation from 2001 to 2013, a Republican who was appointed by George W. Bush in his original 10 year term, he was given a two year extension by Obama, making longest serving FBI director since J. Edgar Hoover. <clears throat> Graduate of Princeton. Oh, Mueller served in the Marines. Okay, during the Vietnam War, receiving, okay, received the Bronze Star with a combat for heroism, Purple Heart, man, all right. Graduated from law. What is his undergrad in? Princeton, BA, BA in one, and oh, just tells me. Um, and he's, he's an older baby boomer. And then he went into law. Um, I'm going to award him half a point because I'm going to guess that all he did outside of the military was immediately just go for public office. Um, I'll, I'll withdraw that because, you know, again, it's hard. You know, you get these older baby boomers. Back in the day, any degree was a good degree. But he's got a BA. It's not listing what's, but but all BAs are worthless. And it'll, what, we're, what we're trying to aim for with the degree is did they ever have a real intention of working or not? <clears throat> so if he goes to law school, which he did, and then he goes works in a private practice for 10 years, all right, I'll, I'll give him that. Then we're not going to give him a point. But if he, like, oh, and they immediately ran for his local office, well, fuck you. You had no intention of fucking working then. 
1973. After graduating from law school in 1973, he worked at a private firm in San Francisco for three years until his appointment as an assistant U.S. attorney in the same city. All right. Um, that's, that's work. It's not him running for office. Prior to his uh, appointment as FBI director, Mueller served as United States Attorney, as Assistant Attorney General for Criminal Division, and Acting Deputy Attorney General. He earned a reputation as a no-nonsense, straight-laced attorney investigator, went by the name Bobby Three Sticks, in reference to his name, <laughs> name's numeric suffix. All right, let's go see if it came from money. <sighs> Father was an executive at the pond. Came from money. Was class president at Princeton before serving in the Navy in World War II. Prominent physician for a grandmother, grew up in Vienna, graduated St. Paul, in New Hampshire. So it comes from money. <clears throat> oh, receiving an AB in politics? No, you get a point for that. No, fuck that. Senior thesis on jurisdiction in Southwest Africa cases in 1966. He played lacrosse. Ba-da-ba, booty-boo. He, he earned an MA in international relations in New York universities before pursuing his Juris Doctorate. Yeah, you get you were just avoiding work. I don't know how you joined the Marines and then you're like, well, I'm going to major in this faggoty bullshit. All right, he does have real-world working experience, not only for his uh, military service, um, but remember, you can work in the public sector and not get a point. <clears throat> it's considered real work if you're doing something real, like being a cop or uh, the FBI. I would even say, like, a, a DA, you know, you're... you're, you're Pursuing criminals or defending them. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give him, I'm gonna give him work for that. What is he doing now? He's the FBI director. I, I still have to give him credit for that because that is one of the few rare, uh, real jobs in the public sector. But yeah, he gets two points coming from money and these, these bullshit degrees. But then he has real world working experience. I still think he's working a real job now. Your political leanings, not really. Would I like to talk to him? I'd rather talk to Jeff Bezos, but if I had nothing else going on, I'd have one beer with him, simply because he served as a Marine. He did serve in Vietnam, uh, and he was in the FBI. Uh, I will give him th that. That's that's pretty cool, and that would be interesting to talk to him. Uh, as far as you know, what I like him to run for office, I guess this is good <laughs> compared compared to the shit we had this last presidential election. I mean, not that he run for president. Uh, but I'm, I'm not like, I might talk as much as he does because I'm just not that, imp I'm impressed, but I'm not that impressed with him. Uh, but yeah, he gets a two, not, not bad nor great, uh, score. So, all right, that's it. You guys got a questions? The old captains has the answers over at assholeconsulting.com. We'll see you guys later. Toodles.